Hello you beautiful people, hope you're doing good, thank you for joining us once again I do apologise, it's been so long since our last video If you didn't know, I've just had twin babies, uh, twin girls, they're doing really well, so is mum So thank you all for your messages and uh, congratulations and the thank yous and everything So yeah, back to work now, been back about a week or so, um, playing catch up really We have got plumbing, we've got grass, got all sorts lined up But I've been struggling to get a videos footage because well, one reason or another not being able to get footage um, so I've thrown together a couple of videos from this last week um, a bit traveling about videos really just cut a bit of plumbing it will pre warn you the video uh, audio is not the best it is quite poor so anyone that is going to slag the um, video audio out thank you because it is helping the algorithm the more you comment the more you like the more my videos get seen so thank you um yeah back at it will be i think for now we can we do one video a week um till i'm not less i'm not as busy with uh bottle feeding late nights and everything else to do with babies um we will be doing one video a week not two and yeah i'm blabbering now so let's just get into it we'll um don't forget to smash like comment subscribe hit the notification bell follow us over on instagram i think that's them all i'm not used to saying this anymore um yeah, I'm bowling. Let's get into it. Right, good morning, people. Um, so, we're back at Bradley. This job we filmed a couple of weeks ago. Um, we've replaced the waste on these sinks. It was uh, before I went on paternity leave. So, yeah, just running through what we need to do. So, shall we? Let me get in this bottom corner down here. So, one I suspect happened is that when it was fit, at the back of the profile was not siliconed, um, which I think I've haven't done it, should I say. So, took the glass screen off, um, cut, scored all the silicone inside and out. There was silicone on the inside, which shouldn't have been. I'll just get these screws out this side, all the way up there, and up here. Then, what we're hoping to do is hoping being the prerogative word, pull it out this way enough just to slide out basically. Because it's two fixed profiles, what it'll have to do is push all the way into there, which is pretty much there already, cut and then pull out. Um, Worst case scenario is we turn the water off and take the shower out, and then we can pull it in. But hopefully, we don't have to do that. Um, even if it's just enough to pull it out and get a screwdriver in to take, take these screws out. Silicone all the way down. I don't need, because it's one shot piece, we don't need silicone all the way down. We'll just silicone behind the screw holes to make sure it's not going down the back of them. And then seal all back of the, there. What I'd like to do is put a, a bead, maybe a foot high, it's about 30 centimetres high. Just because any water that does run here, it's going to run down in that direction. So, yeah, so, I don't look, I prefer to just do 30 centimetres up. But if it was a tiled and we're having this problem, I would have gone all the way to the top. But because it's wooden boards, these panel boards, we don't need to. And we'll have to do the same on that side, even though we don't believe it's leaking on that side. Um, just because we're taking it out, we've got to put it back in. on the back of here. So what's happening in the, in the shower, water's getting down the back of the profile and seeping down the back of there and that's why it's been leaking through here and we've done the same exact same there so it will, it will probably be leaking down the back of there but disappearing down the back of the shower tray. 
So we'll go grab some mullets holes, get all this silicone scraped out, and let it all dry off. I'll go shoot and get some clear silicone and get it put back in properly. Hey, can't wait. Right, so that's all cleaned up nicely. So made me a perfect match. Better than this, multi-solve and big wipes for cleaning silicone out. It's the best. So yeah, just get as much as I could off with the stabbing knife, spread some of that on, scrape it off, rest off with that, and give it a wipe down with big wipes. Great. So they're tight in here. So yeah, what we'll do. silicone on there and then a little blob where that silicone that screw all is and then up like that and then set this side there we go right Many screws we have again. Up there. Up there. Up up there. And up up there. Put that to the side. Right, so what we'll do, go back into this corner here, get it screwed up this side first, swing it back in, screw it in there, and then wipe any excess around the bottom. Clean it up, get all the rest of the screws in on bits and bobs, then silicone, hold the outside, um, and then tidy up, and we're done. Shower screen all done, all sort of coned up, fit, door back on. So yeah, if you are an apprentice or uh, um, you come into the game or DIY, you, make sure you seal the back of the profiles because it will eventually leak. So yeah, all done, all dusted, all done inside the inside as well. Done, a, done, what have I done now? Got all the caps back on. Every, yeah, everything done. I had to double check myself then. Um, so we we'll just get tidied up. Get it all uh, cleaned up and leave it as we found it. Number one job if you work for yourself, I suppose, or if you work for someone else. In fact, you always leave the job how you found it. So I'll get it all tidied up. Shut the customer down, show what we've done, explain that, not to use it for 24 hours, let the ceiling go off. Um, and then, fingers crossed, I'm 99% sure that's not going to leak. So let's uh, crack on and I will see you at the next job. People just over this Worcester have got a problem with the sponge vessel, so basically pressure is dropping every day um, and the pressure pressure is going up when heating up. So first of all, isolate your plumber turn underneath, get your hose up into a bucket, let that drain down, connect a pump, which is the Regan hand pump, really handy for servicing. Um, connect it to the sponge vessel at the back, you can tell by that it's full of full of water so what we'll do is we pump that up to one and a half well just over one and um, leave it on for a couple of minutes make sure it doesn't drop happy with that turn your isolation valve off um drain that valve off sorry disconnect the um pump at the top and spray with some ldf make sure it's not passing if that's all happy happy with that reinstate your um for the turn check your pressure jobs are good in There, go get back this now. You see, the old drop toothbrush. 
So I have to do is cut these at a lower level, cut all this at a lower level, elbow back to one. And up. It's drawers in here. So I've got this space at the back. Fit I've got the wary of is it's not silicone, but it's silicone back that we don't damage the tiles. So I'll cut all that across there. Underneath, hopefully it should come out. So with the old base in over, we'll put this, put this into place. Um, what we need to do is center it up, between the bath, what we've got there, 10 centimeters. Everything out level, well out level. So, we'll have to prop this side up a little bit. We'll then mark our four fixings, drill through a tile, plug and screw, and then go from there. So, yeah, let's crack on. So with these fixings, what I do is put our screw in first and we get these little brackets which have teeth on the back, so the teeth go to the back, it goes on the back, then we tighten that up and it pulls it all back. So four fixings. level here back to the wall up in the center something like that and then what I do is this is bit of silicone across the front and the sides don't put any put a, a small like a couple of blobs at the back and um, just because if you have any chance to see if you put loads of silicone there you should pull the tile off so, yeah, get this pipe side, and we'll move on to the basin. Right, so we're taking the basin now. It's controversial, but as I've shown you before, I always get rid of that washer. Hey, Bob, I see we've been all the way around. Washer has a lip. I put that lip inside.
I'm wiping something off. Yeah, cloth that, yeah, it's not coming. It's great for getting the last bit of residue off. Off your taps, off your plug hole. Wipes. So yeah, it's a bit controversial. I, um, some people are more, but some people use putty paste, some people use the end plug thing from screw fits, base, basic mate, that's what called. But I've done this for, for a short 10 years and it's been alright for me, so that's how I do it. It's the right. This is all in, all done, wrapped up. So, don't mind me. Yes, yeah, just wipe them out of the floor, but I'll get a blocky van. So, it's all in anyway, so don't worry about that. So, draws in, get that done, um, and then just silicone on the top. Tested it out, everything's fine. Job's a good one. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video this week. Don't forget to smash a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next week. Thank you.